I can, geez, I can see every one of you in here, and that's, that's really horrifying.
Uh, this sounds like somebody that Faulkner could have invented the character or characters in this song. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this here before or not, but I visited his uh, grave recently, and it was a, a big letdown. You ex how many people? Well, let's see. There are there aren't a lot of Jimmy Driftwood fans here. How about uh, Faulkner? Are there any Faulkner people here? So if you if you've uh, if you've read him, you know that you expect more from him than your average corpse. You really do. You expect something to happen when you go to the grave. And it is just as hard to find as uh, you've been told that it is. Beyond that, uh, the only woman I've known at the top of any set of stairs was, was about, she had to have been about 65 or so, and I was about five. And I would go upstairs <clears throat> and look at her uh, stamp collection. Suffused with romance. It was, uh, there was, it's a lot better than visiting Faulkner's grave. <laughs> she lives all alone on a dark and windy street in a room at the top of the stairs. She smokes cigarettes and stares at the wall not knowing that my heart lives there. Of the night, she takes me inside and helps soothe my troubles and pain. She's warm and she's sweet, her kisses leave me weak. I love it when she touches my face. talks about the past, the sorrow and regret. She cries about the gray in her hair. I love her so much, but she just won't believe any man alive could ever care. I wish I'd been there when she was a girl before love had treated her unfair. She'd not be so sad, she'd not live alone In that room at the top of the stairs In that room at the top of the stairs 